but it is the reality. I am not happy that 40, uh, that 45 percent of uh, of young Americans say, uh, according to Pew, uh, that uh, uh, they believe in free speech, but not for hate speech. A, it shows you how incoherent young people's thinking is, that they don't understand that the whole point of free speech is to allow speech that you can't stand. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the God I don't believe in. <laughs> Prager's God that I don't believe in. This is a key point. The whole point of free speech is to allow hate speech. Now, are there exceptions? Yes, there's exceptions. But in general principle, the point of free speech is to allow people to say things that you don't like. And when it comes to hate speech, who is the decider of what's hate speech and what's not? Hmm? The goal of free speech is to allow people to say things that will make you cry for hours. And if you don't like that, then I would say you don't like free speech. For me to say to Dennis Prager, I think the God that you believe in, portrayed in the Old Testament, is a schmuck, a terrible entity, and you ought not worship him. Dennis Prager is stable enough as a human being to say, Doug, Pine Creek should have the right to say that Yahweh is a schmuck. And if he's real, he's not worthy of worship. Dennis Prager is mad enough to say, I support Pine Creek for the right, the ability to say that. Now, a weak need Jew, a Jew that's not confident in who he is or her, she is, would say, oh wait, no, hate speech, anti-Semitic. Oh no, D uh, we, Doug should be canceled for saying Yahweh is a schmuck, he's anti-Semitic. That's a weak Jew who doesn't value free speech. And by the way, for the record, I love the Jews. <laughs> that's not hate speech because it has the word love in it. <laughs>